Let's talk about the three different types of bonds we have here with NH4Cl, ammonium chloride, and why it's considered to be an ionic compound. So when we look at each of the elements, nitrogen, that's a nonmetal, hydrogen, nonmetal, and chlorine, that's also a nonmetal. So we have all nonmetals, so we would expect this to be a covalent compound because it's made up of nonmetals. However, that's a general rule, and in this case, NH4Cl, ammonium chloride, doesn't follow that rule. So the first thing you really need to recognize is NH4. That's the ammonium ion, NH4+. Plus. That's a polyatomic ion, and it's one that you should memorize. And then we have our Cl, our chlorine, which is the chloride. So ammonium chloride. When we draw the Lewis structure, we can see that we have a positive charge here on the ammonium ion, and the chloride, that's negative. And that positive and negative, those attract. They're electrostatic opposites, and they're attracted, and that forms the ionic bond between the NH4 and the Cl. Because it's ionic, the nitrogen here in the, the ammonium has transferred a valence electron to the chlorine. So it has eight valence electrons. It has an octet, and it's very stable. It's negative because it gained an electron. The NH4, that's positive because it transferred, it lost the electron to the chlorine. We also have covalent bonds here. These bonds between the nitrogens and the hydrogens, those are covalent bonds. So we have within this NH4+, plus, this ammonium ion, we have covalent bonds, and then we have the ionic bond between them. There's one more type of bond here in the ammonium ion that we should talk about. That's a coordinate covalent, or sometimes called a dative bond. So let's look at how that might happen. So when we form NH4Cl, we have HCl plus NH3. What happens is this hydrogen here, it breaks away, and now it has a positive charge. That's because it left one of its electrons here with the chlorine. That now has a negative charge. So the hydrogen doesn't have any valence electrons. In fact, it doesn't have any electrons at all. So it comes over here, and it's going to bond to these two electrons, this lone pair right here, on top of the nitrogen. So the hydrogen doesn't bring any electrons with it. It's the nitrogen that provides the two electrons to form this covalent bond, which they're sharing. Because of that, we call it a coordinate covalent bond. So we can write the structure like this now. And this is NH4Cl, ammonium chloride. It's ionic because we have this positive ion here and this negative ion attracted together. That's our ionic bond. Then we have covalent bonds. And one of these could be considered a coordinate covalent bond. So to recap, NH4Cl, that is an ionic compound. But within that ionic compound, we have a dative bond and then we have covalent bonds. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.